So this is a scanner that we're using for our feed scanner. This is how we get all of our cells in. It is the Brother MFC 6490CW. We were so happy when this thing came out. The scanner works beautifully. The drivers, though, are not exactly perfect. The same goes for the Epson ones. I have tried them as far as I can tell. They still have the exact same problems that this one has. Uh, mainly, it doesn't rotate on the way in, and um, it automatically renames everything to some kind of arbitrary name that is very annoying. Now, here's how you'll have to load it, though. Because... Even A3, an A3 scanner, it won't actually fit all the way in sideways where, or like this, so you could get your, uh, so you could get your peg holes registered. Uh, you have to turn it sideways. And this, this really isn't a problem. It just adds another step. When the driver doesn't rotate it, on the other hand, that runs into the problem on the animation software side where it won't see optical registration because it'll be expecting it to see on this edge, not this edge. So you have to actually rotate the files after you scan them, before you take them into something like Animate Pro. Um, in order to, to have uh, the peg holes show through on the scan so uh, optical registration will work, you need to have something black underneath here. Uh, this is the uh, regular scan surface, uh, the back to scan surface, which is all white. And this is what's called the white bar. This uh, pushes down on anything from the feed scanner. So uh, when it scans through, it'll be pressed up against the glass. Problem is it's white and you need it black. So I used uh, electrical tape. It, this is just a white sticker anyway. You could just peel this off, but I would not recommend that. In order to get this off, uh, I, uh, there's little tiny tabs right here on the very, very end of it. And they're just little plastic ones with a little, with a nub. And you just very, very carefully push this in and it will come right out. And you'll have a little spring right here. And this is the bar. What I did was I used electrical tape and you have to kind of wrap it around one of these little metal pieces right here. Uh, definitely wrap it around all the way in or else this thing will peel up and all your animation will get jammed in here and it'll end up with a huge mess. So definitely wrap it around. You'll see, you'll see here it's wrapped around quite extensively. I had to make this uh, two pieces wide just because that's the only tape I had. You can get wider electrical tape if you want. But this will be good. Uh, I think this is about maybe one and, a, one and a quarter inches from the edge, and I think that's about one and three eighths wide. This will give you enough room so when this scans, you'll see the paper actually go in front so uh, the, the peg holes will be registered. So when you install this, again, be very, very carefully. These are plastic nubs on the very end. If you break these, well, sorry to say, your, your scanner will probably be screwed at that point. So when loading in cells into the feed scanner, you can see here, this is half of one scene. Not that one. This is half of one scene. That is quite a bit of animation. You have to split this into uh, maybe stacks of maybe like 50, maybe a little bit more. I just put basically about a half inch of paper in there. One thing to, uh, to remember, which makes it a little bit easier for the scanner, is feather it just a little bit uh, towards, the, towards the top of the stack. Just a little bit of, of an incline like that will allow the, the feeder to actually grab it a lot easier and it won't uh, crumple up a lot of your stuff. Uh, I actually have a lot of times where animation paper actually has a little bit of a curl on one side, it'll actually grab the underside, the, the, it'll actually grab the next cell and pull it along with it. And then you have to go back in and rescan multiple things. It just, it's just a little tip to help it scan in a little bit easier. 
Also, be sure to uh, kind of square it up on the sides to uh, make sure everything is, all the, the scan is going to go in nice and nice and clean. This will move. I can guarantee you these pages will shift like this when you're scanning, but that is why we have optical registration and something like Animate Pro, so we can counter that in the software and everything will be lined up. If you follow uh, the rest of the steps that I have, it'll make it a lot easier.